Today I'm going to blow your mind why I'm hiring someone to look through my data, a data analyst they call it. They, they normally cost ridiculous amounts of money, especially in the finance industry. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars, two hundred thousands of dollars, and sometimes they get one, two, three, four, five analysts per floor to go through data and make meaningful decisions upon the next trade. I found someone who's going to do it for a very, very tiny subscription, and his name is AI. Let's go and see how I'm going to employ him first, and secondly, how can I derive meaning from my data set so I can improve my trading and make decisions for my next week, month, and potentially years. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm on ChatGPT and I'm on the hunt to find a data analyst. So first. I'm just going to go like any sort of employment, you'll go and find a data analyst. Well, look at that. Soon as I write data and start writing analyst, we start looking and seeing who's available. And I know that this guy called data analyst is kind of kind of a good guy. He gives me visualizations. He does analysis on my dashboards in Excel. I think he's a kind of cool guy. So I'm going to test him out. I'm going to give him a trial. Let's start asking him some questions and throwing some data at him and see what his skill set is like. Is he going to be the guy who's going to help me、uh, derive meaning from my hundreds and hundreds of trades to give me insight to improve my trading for the next week, month, and years to come? Let's find out. First of all, we have to do. We have to tell him what we want to do. So first, I'm going to explain to him what I'm going to throw at him. So we're going to ask him. We're going to tell him what data analyst he's going to be for us. I would like you to be my personal data analyst and help me find insights from my historical performance. I will provide you with a CSV exported from MT5. I would like you to prep the data so I can ask you questions about. My performance in relation to time, time of the day, day of the month, and profit. Okay, so what I've done there, I've actually given him a little bit of a brief. So now we have the briefing. All we need to do is give him the data. And before I start throwing the data to my data analyst, who's waiting patiently to see what we're going to do with this data set, I'm just because I'm going to quickly look and see is there going to be any struggles with this data? Even though the data analyst on their AI will be able to manage it and realize that this is not a column, why not make his life easier and just remove these、um, extra rows that are giving information about what this report is? And that's it. Before you start throwing any sort of、um, uh, data to AI, you can be nice to him and start、um, taking away columns that you don't want. For instance, here commissions and swaps. I'm not very interested in this. Maybe in the future I will be, but for now I'm not interested in this. Now this is an interesting column because it's a bit of a nightmare.、Uh, we've got the year date and the time. You can do a very easy、um, text to data column. Um, I could do that for him, but he can very easily do that. That's his job, after all, to deal with this data. I'm not going to be dealing with this data. I just want to ask him questions that's going to give me insight. So, I'm going to save this data set, and then we're going to be ready to throw it into our、uh, data analyst. So, all I've done is drag and drop my data as an XLS,、um, so an Excel sheet, into the data analyst. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to upload it to him. That's it. You deal with that data set. I don't want to deal with that data set anymore. I just want to ask you questions. Great, you've uploaded an Excel file. I'll start by loading the data from the file so we can see what it looks like. Now he's really happy that I took out those first rows because look at that. He's very quickly identified what each column is doing. It's making、um, an informed decision on what he's going to do with these columns. Based on what I asked him to do earlier,、um, shall we proceed with these steps? He's saying before we start, I would like to analyze your performance in relation to time and day, the day of the month, and profit. It might be helpful to clean the pre-processes the data.、Uh, this could involve converting time and date time formats for easy manipulation. So exactly what we talked about earlier, we had a column where we had the date and the time in the same column. So he's like. How about we separate these?、Um, I'm going to say yes, my friend AI. Please go ahead. So now he's going to go and change the data set to something that's going to be easier to ask it questions. The data is now pre-processed with the following changes: time and time one. So it's changed the date and the time, different、uh, different columns. 
Uh, with these adjustments, we're ready to analyze your trading performance in relation to the time of the day, day of the month, and profit. Uh, would you like to begin? Do you have any specific question or analyze in the in mind? Right, guys, here we go. So I can ask you any question about my performance. How long do I hold my best trades? And what day do these trades occur? I would like a report in a graphical format. And here comes my analyst uh, back. As a data analyst, you always go back and ask questions. And he's doing exactly that. He wants a bit more clarity. He's saying, um, to provide you with this insight, I want to know to identify your best trades, calculate the duration of each trade, extract the day of the week from these trades, and do that all behind the scenes for you. And I'm going to give you a report. Isn't that absolutely insane? I can't believe I'm doing this. And I can't believe I'm witnessing this and how lucky we are. Oh my God. How is that even possible? This is absolutely insane, guys. I've just received a report by my personal AI assistant um, giving me trade duration of best trades by day of the week. And he also has said, given me the outliers as well. He's given me the highest value and the lowest value in, the, in there. He's gone beyond what I've asked it because he thinks this is a better way to visualize the data. Not only that, he's given me the visualizations of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Thursday, which is very interesting. Count of the best trades by day of the week. Monday is my best, uh, most trades. I've got more than 17 and a half trades on Monday that have been profitable. Thursday looks like of my worst. The visualization provides insight into your best trades defined here as the top 10% of profit. So he's taken all the profit and the top 10% of that is visualized here. Now, I would like to, let's say I can do, I can do minor changes to this. We can do two things. I would like to add labels to the columns, to, to the chart, and to have the highest um, bar of the chart as green and the rest gray just like that go and do that for me please and let's see how quickly this would take time guys imagine going with these requests someone has to sign things off then you would go back and say is this a good idea to change it or is this i know that people can be very quick with this but imagine trying to do this without any knowledge you're just asking it questions and a data analyst is working on your data set as we speak this is not going to take a day to normally this would take like a few hours and there will people go and change it and come back but this is taking literally minutes as we are speaking. He's analyzing and that little round thing is turning and turning and turning. And it's going to come to a point where it's going to spit the data right in front of you. And here we go. Boom. Green on Monday, gray on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Thursday. And it has added labels onto my bar chart. That is absolutely insane, guys. I can't believe this is happening. Um... Okay, that's interesting. So Mondays is a good day. Maybe I need to trade more on Mondays. Thursday, I've got less profitable trades. Now, what about my losing trades? Do the same for my losers, just like that. Go and read all my data set and find what is my worst day of trading and put it in a graphical format and add the information that I've already given you. So I want you to take into account that I like putting the green day as the highest bar and gray with the other ones. Um, so obviously you might want to change that to like a red because it's representing losing. Um, but for now, I think we're going to see this together, but I think it's going to return the same formats of the previous one. It's just going to change the profit into losing. You don't understand how difficult this is for um, in terms of processing power that is actually reading data from an Excel sheet and is actually doing it in front of us within seconds. And there we go. Thursday, little did we know, not only did we have the least profitable days um, in terms of account, but by far my worst day is Thursday. That is very, very interesting. 27. And the next closest thing is Wednesday and uh, um, Monday, obviously, you've got 10. But that is a huge, huge discrepancy there that I need to take in, um, in account. Now, I want to dig a little bit deeper into this. What would be the next question? Since... Thursday is my worst day. What time 
on Thursdays should I avoid taking trades? Let's ask him literally a humane question, which is a very good question because it would give me insightful knowledge around um, Thursdays. And I've now identify what day is the worst day for me to trade. What about time? Because I like to trade in the mornings and London session, but a lot of the times I deal with the afternoon session in New York. Come on, guys. This is absolutely insane. There we go. Four o'clock. Within a few minutes, we've identified an area which I need to be avoiding trading. How is that even possible? And why is this? What is at four o'clock? This is absolutely insane. So what it's saying is actually every time I'm entering trades into the New York Open, I'm having difficulty to manage those trades. So I should stick with the London Open because at the London Open at nine, ten o'clock, eight o'clock, I'm not having these big um, big differences in performance. Guys, absolutely insane. This insight is incredible. And this insight has come from something that is not human. It's an AI with the human knowledge. And this is the power that we can use from the AI. Absolutely incredible uh, that we can do this. Now, I'm going to ask it one more thing. What about if I ask it something that doesn't have, I'm going to give him the freedom to find out something about me. Tell me something interesting about my data that I should be aware of when I am trading. Let's see what it comes up. So I've given the freedom now. Just go and, um, you know, look at and uncover any interesting facts that you can find in the data set to tell me. Because sometimes we have this predisposition and bias in terms of what we're going to ask it and what we're going to know. And a lot of the times the benefit of having a data analyst is bringing you information that you weren't aware from. So I've gone in and said, right, just analyze everything that you can see in this data set and come back and tell me what is um, uh, good information. So it has come back with something that would be very interested if I was trading multiple assets. Now, I overwhelmingly trade the pound dollar. And unfortunately, um, he doesn't know that, obviously, as an AI. Uh, he's gone and thought, what is the most interesting thing to see is how are we performing across different assets? And that's cool. So I asked him what else because that information would have been cool. Um, and then now he's returned something really cool. What's this? And he's giving you some feedback. This analysis suggests that the timing of your trades has a significant impact on their outcomes. By aligning your trading activity with the hours that historically have been more profitable and possibly adjusting strategies for less for favorable times, you can further refine your approaching to trading. How can I use this? This is absolutely incredible. Well, he's saying if you can identify, like we did earlier, we're building up the story. Thursdays is not a good day for me to trade, especially around the New York Open. Why? One you can do is completely avoid that. Then you'll improve your trading by in, in enormous amounts because you're not going to be taking part in those difficult trades. And then he's gone on further and said, well, if you're going to be in that, what strategy can you use to improve the performance when you're trading at that, that time? Do you need to change something? Now, I hope you are as excited as I am because this is absolutely insane that I have a personal data analyst now on my side working as I am trading and focusing on performing well, I've got someone next door who's doing all the hard work and telling me the insights that I would love to know for a fraction of a price that it would cost for um, companies to, to have a data analyst in there. A lot of people would say, wait a minute, is this the end of the data analyst? It's not because for two reasons. One, in this industry, a lot of people need to ask it the right questions. And the data analyst is extremely good at identifying what questions to ask. Secondly, data means nothing when you don't have the understanding of what is required to do when you have that data. So when you get that information about, let's say, Thursdays, someone might say just ignore Thursdays. But what if the data set is not big enough? 
what if the data set is not looking at a big enough data set where it can tell me that information? That, that would be another good question to ask the analyst. Can you do, what is the importance or significance of this data to my performance? In, in, in any research paper that you read, they always do a, a significance value to see if it matters that much. Like always guys, data has the downside that you can be over analyzing yourself and then you do, you do your analysis and paralysis. You don't wanna go down that route. Power that we've been given here is absolutely insane and I hope you've learned something today and you can utilize that in your own time and I've just shown you literally a small sample of what I can be doing with this maybe in the future I'll be including um, other areas that I've used AI to improve my statistics and also my performance as a day trader okay guys I hope this has been useful please 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 press the like button now just do it for me that I think I've given you some good insight into how you can use AI and how you can use a data analyst please press the like button as that helps massively with the reach of people that are interested in trading and it expands us as a community and that's a great thing. Also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you're not gonna find out about the last, latest video and you don't wanna be that guy who's gonna miss out on the next little tip that you're gonna get from Yanis, the Conscious Day Trader. So subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.